There are 80 million people more on Earth today than on this day just one year ago. The world population is increasing incredibly fast, and so is the need for food. As things are right now, we're not able to produce food for these millions of extra people without also hurting the planet. So there is a need to find alternative ways to feed the world. And one of the very promising foods of the future is insects. Insects are great because they're nutritious, they're sustainable to produce, and they eat waste, like food scraps from your kitchen. But if we want to start producing insects, either to feed to animals or to eat ourselves, we want to make sure that this production is as efficient and sustainable as possible. And this is where I want to tell you about an incredibly powerful tool called selective breeding. First, I want you to think about your dog or your mom's or friend's dog. And when you have this image of the dog, then also think about the wolf. Selective breeding is responsible for this wild transformation from wolf to dog, and it's all about genetics. And we've actually done this transformation for many of the animals and plants that we use to produce food today, and I want to do the same thing in insects. For example, make these larvae grow bigger or higher in protein just using genetics. But in order for selective breeding to work, you need to be able to know how different individuals are related to each other. Now, I don't know about you, but when I look at these fly larvae behind me, you can imagine it's quite difficult to keep track of who was the sibling of who and who was their mother. And you can't really put a yellow ear tag on them like you do with a cow. So keeping track of family relationships in insects is the real challenge. And it's a challenge that I work with in my project. And by using a lot of individual plastic containers and labels and very good organizational skills and many Excel sheets, We've actually managed to do that. So create a population of insects where for every individual we know who was their parents, sibling, and even half-sibling. And the next step now is to start using this family tree of insects to start producing and breeding for those sufficient, efficient, sustainable superbugs. And hopefully contribute to feeding these 80 million people and take care of the planet at the same time. Thank you.